Okay. Peter Matt Madoff. Madoff. Peter Madoff pleads guilty. Peter Madoff told a Manhattan court that he faked documents, lied to regulators, and committed a litany, a litany of other crimes that allowed his older brother, Bernie Madoff, to perpetrate one of the history's biggest investment frauds. He said he knew nothing about the multi-billion dollar Ponzi scheme itself and was in total shock when his brother told him in December 2008 that the investment business was a sham. Bernie, you did what? Oh, Bernie, you... Uh, impossible. But he admitted that after he learned of the fraud and, be, and before Bernie Madoff's arrest two days later, he helped try to divert the remaining funds to the Madoff family and friends. Well, that's scuzzy, isn't it? Tits, get all the money. Money, 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 money. I'm deeply ashamed of my actions, said Peter Madoff, his voice breaking. I want to apologize to anyone who was harmed and my family. To anyone who was harmed. To everyone who was harmed. Not anyone. I want to apologize to everyone who was harmed and my family. Not to anyone who was harmed. As if there may be nobody else harmed but my family. Oh my gracious. His comments at a packed hearing on Friday came as he pleaded guilty to criminal charges and entered a plea agreement that will send him to prison for 10 years and require him to forfeit all his personal assets, including a Ferrari. Oh, Bernie. A oh, Peter. Peter. It is Peter. He had to give up his Ferrari. That's beyond cruel. Including a Ferrari and more than $10 million in cash and assets belonging to his wife and daughter. Oh, dear me. The plea comes three years to the day that Bernie Madoff, 74 years old, was sentenced to 150 years in federal prison. As the former chief compliance officer, compliance officer, of Bernard Madoff Investment Securities, LLC. Peter Madoff, 60 years old, worked closely with his brother for, f for four decades. Worked closely with his brother for four decades, but obviously not that closely because while his brother was completely making up an investment scheme, investing in nothing and just sending money back to people like a Ponzi scheme, it was not like a Ponzi scheme, it was the Ponzi scheme. Peter knew nothing he knew nothing, had nothing to do with anything. He just, when they found out that it was not real, he tried to take all the money he could find and give it to his family and screw everybody else. But Peter Madoff, who was arrested earlier in the day by Federal Bureau of Investigation agents at his lawyer's office in Midtown Manhattan, told the court that he failed to implement any meaningful supervision over his brother's management of investors' money. Failed to implement failed to implement any meaningful supervision. He didn't even implement any unmeaningful supervision. He just lied. The trustee attempting to recover funds on behalf of the victims estimate the losses at $17.3 billion. And he has reached agreements to recover about $11 billion. Peter Madoff is the eighth person to plead guilty to criminal charges in the government's investigation into the Madoff fraud. We are not yet finished calling to account everyone responsible for the epic fraud of Bernard Madoff and the epic pain of many of his victims. I want to apologize to anyone who was harmed in my family. I want to apologize to anyone who was harmed. I want to apologize to anyone who was harmed. If anybody was harmed, I don't know. I, I, I was just not doing anything. I was just... I wasn't doing anything. I was just watching the television and playing poker in the back and, and writing false letters. And if I hurt anybody, uh, I, I'm sorry. Said Preet. Preet Bahara. The Manhattan U.S. attorney. Last Friday, Peter Madoff admitted that he filed false forms that drastically underreported the number of a customer's who had accounts at the firm and the money under management. My family was torn apart as a result of my brother's atrocious conduct, he said during the hearings. I became reviled by strangers, yes, who assumed I knew about the Ponzi scheme and I didn't know anything about the Ponzi scheme. I was just filing false records. I didn't know anything about it. I was close to Bernie for 40 years, but I, I never knew he was a crook.
But after he found out about this scheme, Peter Madoff told the court he agreed to review a list of friends and family and help decide who would receive the firm's remaining $300 million before the fraud was disclosed publicly. He said he withdrew 200000 from the firm before its collapse to buy gas for his Ferrari. No. To make planned charitable contributions, but never made those donations. No, because his Ferrari needed to be, it had a flat tire. Peter Madoff told the court that his brother didn't give him any financial interest in the firm and made it clear that there was no prospect for partnership. But Bernard Madoff rewarded him handsomely, having the firm provide a variety of fringe benefits, including meals, travel, leased cars, and household personnel, none of which were declared as personal income. His wife was also given a no-show job and allowed to participate in the firm's 401k pro program, he said. He said he accepted millions of dollars from his brother disguised as sham trades and fake loans in order to avoid gift taxes. He was given money for his son, who was confined to a wheelchair and battling cancer, to purchase an apartment, he said. An equal amount at his request would have provided, was provided to his daughter, who also worked for the firm, he said. All told, Peter Madoff received some $40 million from the Madoff firm between 1998 and 2008. That's $4 million a year, according to Assistant U.S. Attorney Lisa Baroni. Peter Madoff, who will remain free on $5 million bail until his sentencing on October 4th, didn't agree to cooperate in the government's ongoing... Oh, Peter Madoff, that's the same one. Didn't agree to cooperate in the government's ongoing investigation. Well, you see, that's what the... Now that's the, uh, what do you call it? That's the Wall Street Journal's review of it. Now let's see. Uh, the New York Times says Peter Madoff claims he didn't know about fraud. Peter B. Madoff, the former number two executive at Berndale Madoff Securities, stood before a judge Friday and admitted to committing numerous crimes. He avoided paying taxes on tens of millions of dollars in income, he said. He put his wife on the firm payroll even though she never worked there. He submitted false filings to securities regulators. But he also emphasized that no time, at no time, at no time, was he aware that his brother Bernard was orchestrating the largest Ponzi scheme in history. At no time, wiping out $65 billion in paper wealth and shattering lives around the globe. 40 years with him, no idea. At no time. I was in shock and my world was destroyed, said Peter Madoff, describing his reaction when his brother told him about the fraud in December 2008. I always looked up. But he also emphasized that at no time was he aware that his brother Bernard, who was orchestrating the largest Ponzi scheme in history, wiped out $65 billion in paper wealth and shattered lives around the globe. At no time. Forty years with him. Absolutely no idea. I was in shock and my world was destroyed, said Peter Madoff, describing his reaction when his brother told him about the fraud in December 1000, 2008. In December 2008, I always looked up to him and admired him. I was in shock and my world was destroyed. I was in shock and my world was destroyed. I was in shock and really annoyed, said Peter Madoff, describing his reaction when his brother told him about the fraud in December 2008. I always looked up to him and admired him. I guess I was wrong. At no time. Yes, Peter, I think you were. I think you should have maybe looked into things a bit more carefully. Later in the hearing, he said, I truly believe my brother was a brilliant traitor. Uh, yes. I truly believe my brother was a brilliant traitor. In a deal cut with prosecutors before his court appearance, Peter Madoff, 66, agreed to serve 10 years in prison a sentence that still requires a judge's approval. He has also agreed to forfeit all of his assets, including the proceeds from the sale of a co-op on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, two homes on Long Beach Island. Oh, no, two homes on Long Island, not Long Beach, not Peter Madoff, sorry, excuse me. Two homes on Long Island and one in Palm Beach, Florida and a 1995 Ferrari 355 Spider. Now that is painful. He has to give up his 1995 Spider, Ferrari 355 Spider. Judge Laura Taylor Swain of the United States Court in Manhattan accepted. I ripped the paper. I ripped, accepted. He accepted the plea 
and set him free, accepted the plea and set him free on bail until his October 4th sentencing. He and his wife. Oh, I ripped right through it. Oh, it's terrible. I'm going to have a lot of trouble reading this now. He and his wife. He and his wife, Marion, must turn over their passports and remain in the New York metropolitan area, the judge ordered. A 10-year sentence. The 10-year sentence was a point of contention between federal prosecutors and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. After Peter Madoff struck the deal with prosecutors, some officials at the something at the Prosky question whether he got off too easy according to people close to the case. Nah. Nah. Not too easy. Nah. He has to give up his Ferrari, man. Preet Bahara, the top federal prosecutor in New York, addressed the severity of the sentence on the statement on Friday, casting the penalty as steep. Peter Madoff will now be jailed well into his old age and he will forfeit virtually every penny he has. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bahara said, a dispute also emerged about the early arrest. A dispute also arose about the, emerged about the early morning arrest. The FBI, Peter Madoff, at his, uh, the FBI dispatched agents to arrest Peter Madoff. Listen, it's too hard to read it. I ripped it. I'm sorry. Let's, let's go. He always looked up to his brother and admired his older brother. Even Peter Madoff acknowledged that his, despite his role as the firm's top legal and compliance officer, he failed to perform any meaningful oversight of his brother's investment activities, enabling a fraud that played out for decades, during which he was considered among Wall Street's most highly regarded money managers. I am deeply ashamed of my actions, Peter Madoff said, reading from notes in a gravelly voice reminiscent of his brother's, said at the hearing before Judge Swain, I want to apologize to anyone who was harmed, to everyone who was harmed. He, keeps, he said in both papers. Ah, and, and to my family. And I'm here today to take responsibility for my conduct, he said, choking back tears. Although Bernie, oh, I bet. Bernie Madoff was, although Bernie Madoff has maintained that he acted alone, prosecutors have charged 13 others in connection with the case, including the office secretary and an outside accountant. Peter Madoff is the eighth person to plead guilty. Five others await trial before Judge Swain. Oh, dear. While it did not match the pandemonium surrounding Bernie Madoff's court appearances, court appearances. There was a circus-like atmosphere at the courthouse on Friday. Step right up, folks. Step right up. Photographers and cameramen crowded the entrance, hoping to get a shot of the defendant. Spectators packed the courtroom, including a group of summer interns from the United States Attorney's Office in bathing suits and uh, water wings and, and uh, flippers and, and masks and scuba gear. They just came drop by to see the thing. Summer interns from the United States Attorney's Office. Peter Madoff's guilty plea comes three years to the day after Bernard Madoff received a 150-year prison sentence which he is serving at a federal prison in North Carolina. Peter, who worked for his brothers for nearly 40 years, is the first relative to plead guilty to crimes connected to the Ponzi scheme. Peter Madoff helped Bernie Madoff create the image of a functioning compliance program purportedly overseen by sophisticated financial professionals, said Robert Kuzami the Director of Enforcement at the Securities and Exchange Commission, which filed a parallel civil case. A parallel civil case. That'll be fun. Hmm. But prosecutors said that Peter Madoff deceived regulators by submitting sham paperwork that vastly underreported the firm's assets and number of investors. The firm's filing, signed off on by Peter, said it had 23 client accounts, when in fact it had more than 4,000. These misrepresentations helped Bernard Madoff avoid scrutiny, the government said. 23 client accounts, but it had more than 4,000. The charges against Peter Madoff included falsifying documents and filing fraudulent tax returns. Prosecutors said that from 1998 to 2009, Peter Madoff and his family received more than $40 million from the firm on which he did not pay any taxes. <laughs> He avoided the detection of tax authorities by disguising those payments as loans or backdated stock trades, the government said. Peter Madoff, who not ooh, what a compliance officer Peter Madoff was. He was even scummier than his brother, I, I, I fear. Peter Madoff also acknowledged on Friday that for years his wife had was paid more than 100000 annually for a no-show job at the firm. 2000 bucks a week, just... 
mad money. There had been speculation that Peter Madoff's deal with the government included a promise by authorities not to bring any charges against his and Marion's daughter, Shana Madoff. Swanson, his daughter, Shana Madoff Swanson, a lawyer at the firm. A lawyer at the firm. His daughter, okay, you get But his plea agreement does not protect anyone else from potential criminal charges according to a plea agreement. Mark W. Smith, a lawyer for Miss Madoff Swanson, did not return a quest for comment. How about a comment, Mr. Smith? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to comment on this. I think we're going to let this one alone. I don't think I have anything to add, anything valuable to tell you. So I think we're just going to cool it. No comment. In his guilty plea, Peter Madoff described how on the day after learning about the Ponzi scheme, he assisted Bramer. He assisted Bernard Madoff in sending out $300 million to employees, family, and friends before Bernard turned himself in. He told the judge why he had committed this crime. I did, as my brother said, I was only following orders. Only following orders. I was only following orders. I was only following orders. I 